picture for me in my mind is like when you hit a forehand in tennis, where you sort of get over the ball a little bit. Um, to me, that's the best. I try it a lot in pro ams because a, a lot of people struggle with the slice. So when I get the, get that picture in their mind of hitting a forehand in tennis, a lot of people can relate to that. And when they get that feeling, a lot of the time they actually hit this beautiful draw on the first shot. What I believe very much is that you have to trust your instinct a lot. So I, I get a lot from people that, you know, I, I don't know how to read greens and all that, but I, I, I still believe it is instinctive. We can all, the way that we all build, we can see slope. So in a way you have to, you know, use your eyes. You got to trust that you already got what you need. So, and I think a lot of the time people confuse themselves because they like, you know, they're looking for some kind of a, a formula which doesn't really exist, but you've got to trust that you've got, you know, everything that you need to read a green. And if you can sort of go with that, I think you, you're sort of halfway there. Winning in match play for me is, is always, you need to take care of your own stuff. The better score you shoot, the, the tougher you are to beat. So I, I think it's a common thing that, you know, you look at your opponent, see what he does and all that. And I think it's not great to, to get sucked into all of that. End of the day, you need to shoot good scores. Good scores are tough to beat. So focus on your ball and shoot a good number. Ooh, that's a tough one, yeah. Well, a lot of the time you hear that a shank is actually close to being a good shot. So I suppose if you can use that and say like, um, that was a shank, but obviously it's not too far away, but um, but again, you, you, need to, you need to have an image of what actually happens when you shank the shot. So that you, you sort of define what happens at impact. The heel comes in first, you know, the heel is exposed to the ball. So however you're going to feel that, you know, differently, where the heel doesn't come first, um, somehow you need to, to, to make an image on your own to, to make it not happen. to take care of what you can do. I mean, you read the putt, you trust your read, and then you, 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 know, you hit a good putt on that line. And then they're not all gonna go in. But uh, I think a lot of times people look into a lot of, you know, too much stuff. And it's not that complicated. I mean, if you hit it on a decent line, most, most of them will go in. You just gotta accept that they don't all go in. Number one, I think, is grip pressure. People grip it too tightly, and uh, and if you do grip it tightly, I mean you can't release the crop properly, so you can't transfer the energy into the ball, which is the only thing that matters. So the firmer you hold onto it, you can't get that energy into the ball. So it has to feel very light in the fingers, so that the crop can work for you instead of you trying to muscle the way through the ball. Yeah, for me it's all about sound. All the, all the great bunker players, you don't even have to see the shot. You can turn around and just listen to the sound that the club makes when it, when it enters the sand. And for me, when I, when I play pro-ams again, that's the only thing I tell people. I just hit a few shots without the ball, just try and make that thudding sound. And when they get that, then the, the margin of error is huge. And that's the thing, if you, don't, if you don't use the bounce properly, then there's no margin for error. But when, once you get that sound into the sand, bunker shots become easy. So you got to play around in the, in the sand and, and try to listen and distinguish between the nice sound and the, and the sound where the front edge digs in. And, and people can, you know, if they only focus on the sound, they can hear the difference and then they can start improving. All about strike again. Even, even here, like, like the bunker shots, you can actually listen for it. So instead of trying to get into too much technical stuff, listen to the strike. And, and when you listen to the strike, you can tell like, did I hit it bottom groove? Did I hit it high up on the club? Did I, how did the club enter the, the ground again? And I think people can actually improve a lot without thinking too much about technical stuff, but just focusing on the sound and tr start making you know, seeing the difference or listening to the difference between good and bad shots. Ok, 
getting more spin. Well, first of all, hit it off the fairway helps a lot. Because I mean, if you hit it out of the rough, I mean, you're going to get grass in between and it's going to take away the spin. But, but generally, a good strike creates enough backspin. So if you hit it solidly, you're not looking for more spin. Uh, you need a good club, you need a good golf ball. But if you got a good strike, then don't worry about the spin, you, then you're there. I do it two different ways. Uh, first of all, one, one way that I practice is I go with a certain goal in mind. Today I'm gonna try this, you know, this is my thought for the day. And then I don't, I don't jump around. So I go, this is what I'm gonna test today, see, it where, see where it gets me. And then the second option of, of practicing, which I use a lot as well, is like, you know, when kids play. You go, I don't have a, I don't have a goal, I'm gonna try a few things out, I'm just gonna play around with it. Because, you know, sometimes it can get stale if you always like totally organized, this is what I'm gonna do, see where it takes me. It, it, that can be good, but I mean, for me, it's very important to have the playful uh, attitude as well, to go and explore things. And, you know, what if I hold it like that? What if I grip it tighter or looser, or put it here in my stance and whatever, but just to play around with it, just to get more feels and new feels as well, so you can keep developing. 